Guru Rinpoche had many disciples during his journey of teachings. He mainly had 25 disciples who attend rainbow bodies except Sundesen and were the first Mahasiddhas of Tibet. These 25 Mahasiddhas are thought to have particularly significant future incarnations because they were destined to find Guru Rinpoche's Dharma treasures. In this episode, we are going to look at the second disciple of Guru Rinpoche, Namkai Ningpo, who was also considered as the hot son of Guru Rinpoche. Nuben Namkai Ningpo was born to the Nub lineage in a place called Nyang Karda Shambu in Lower Nyal village. Namkai Ningpo was first ordained by Kenpo Bodhisattva but eventually became one of the disciples of Guru Rinpoche. When Guru Rinpoche conducted the empowerment of Kaji in Lhasa Chimpu, the cream of purity fell on the heart of Namkai Ningpo. From then on, he meditated day and night and achieved the highest accomplishment no different from Guru Rinpoche himself. He exhibited many signs of accomplishments like walking without touching the ground and flying through the sky riding the rainbows. He was sent to India to study under the great saint Humkara by King Tisong Desen as advised by Guru Rinpoche. After attaining the realization, he was sent back to Tibet by Humkara. Having arrived miraculously in Tibet, Namkai Ningpo immediately went before the king to tell him about his achievement. But the king seemed not to be convinced simply by his words. So Namkai Ningpo took a curved dagger and cut open his chest. Inside his chest, the king saw 42 peaceful and 48 wrathful deities. After this, the king announced Namkai Ningpo to be a supreme object of veneration. This annoyed the jealous ministers who conspired and eventually expelled Namkai Ningpo from the kingdom. He was forced to move to Lhodra Karchu. Sometime after, King Trisung Desen fell sick and nobody was able to cure him. The oracle predicted, however, that only Master Namkai Ningpo could cure the king. Thus, Namkai Ningpo was invited back. He cured the king using his miraculous power. But the ministers again started to plot an evil plan to kill him, but he knew the plan. When the attack came, he struck down a lightning bolt from the sky, causing all the ministers to wait. Then he flew up in the sky and went back to Lodra Karchu, where he stayed the rest of his life. When the time of his final departure came, it is said that he manifested final realization of the rainbow body. Namkai Ningpo, the crown ornament of all the scholars and siddhas of the land of snows, manifested his enlightened activity as Tirtan and revealed their concealed by Guru Rinpoche. The successive incarnations of Namkai Ningpo are first incarnation Rigzin Lobzang Rinpoche, second incarnation Kelzang Pema Wangchuk Rinpoche, third incarnation Jampel Ngawang Drukta Rinpoche, fourth incarnation Kinzang Ngawang Tenzin Rinpoche, fifth incarnation Kelzang Sangha Thekchok Rinpoche, sixth incarnation Pema Tenzin Thile Namgil Rinpoche. His Eminence the seventh Namkai Ningpo was born in 1966 in the valley of Tongzhang Trichu Gonpa in eastern Bhutan to Yap Tsring Gelsen and Yum Shirabu. His birth was accompanied by many auspicious and wonderful signs. The drinking water stream of the house turned milky, spectacular rainbows appeared in the sky and a shower of exquisite flower fell. Karchu was the first word uttered referring to his monastery in Tibet. The Rinpoche was recognized as the seventh Namkhe Ningpo by 16th Gelwa Karmapa Rangjung Rigpe Toche.
At present, Rinpoche lives in Trishugonpa in Trishyangzi and Lhotra Kharchu in Bumtang, where he has established Dratsang for the benefit of all the sentient beings. <laughs>